After a long travel day, we spent our first few hours in Sri Lanka acclimatizing at the rooftop pool of our beautiful hotel. But now it's time to head into Colombo and finally explore Sri Lanka's capital for ourselves. So I don't think we mentioned this earlier, but our hotel comes with a free tour of the city of Colombo. We have about 40 minutes before that starts. So we're gonna quickly grab something to eat, then we'll show you Colombo. What do you want? What? Is this just bread? Plain bun, plain bun. Crispy. Uh, is it sweet or savory? Sweet. sweet. Do you have something savory? Mm. Oh, egg bun, okay. What's inside the egg bun? Just eggs and... Egg, egg and things jumbo. I'll have one though. Yeah. Mm. Quite good. Like brioche. Sugary bread. So we have three sandwiches. All together it was... What? All together it was 260 rupees. Which is less than a euro. This is actually pretty good. It's quite fresh. Mm. So this is the egg and onion. Mm. Mm. Also pretty good. Mmm, so fresh and yeasty. Our hotel recommended we eat at a burger place, which is not really our thing. At least not when we're in, in a country like Sri Lanka. So we just started walking around the streets of our hotel and we bumped into two things we can eat just 100 meters from the hotel. First with the breads and now we're having kumfi, which is a type of uh, yogurt tea ice cream, I think. Mm. Very nice. It's very custardy. Smells good. Very refreshing. <laughs> now it's back. Time to walk 50 meters or 100 meters back to our hotel for the tour. I didn't think anything was inside here, but it turns out there's like a spicy potato mixture. It's delicious. Mm. And the bread is so soft. at the museum. I'm no expert, but from what I read is that Sri Lanka was founded in the 5th century and the people settled here under a ruler from North India called Vyaja. It seems like the way the museum is structured is that it starts with the older period, so the Anadapura, I hope I'm saying that right, period. And now we're at the Polonarua period. Keep an eye out for our upcoming vlogs because we're actually going to head to Polonarua in a few days. After Anadapura, uh, Polonarua is the second oldest city of Sri Lanka and the ruins are still in quite good condition. This machine is used for weaving cotton saris. And on our right, we have a loin cloth. What? Do you want one? <laughs> a loin? A loin cloth. cloth. People wrap them around themselves to bathe in. Interesting. It's not just an ordinary loin cloth, it's an elaborate loin cloth. It's a ceramic lion. Looks a bit like a Pokemon. Now this is where it gets interesting. Which I can see behind me is the Shanti Karma ritual. And it's believed that this ritual can cure people's diseases. The museum is so cool, definitely worth the visit. 
but we have to move on to the next part of our tour. So where are we? I think we've arrived at Independence Square. This hall was erected by the government of Ceylon to commemorate the achievement of the independence of Ceylon on the 4th of February So we are at the Ganga Raman temple. This is a Buddhist temple. So apparently there's the smallest Buddhist statue in Sri Lanka, somewhere around here. In Sri Lanka? In Sri Lanka, yeah. So we Let's have see to if find we can it. find it. <laughs> it actually doesn't feel like a temple here. It feels more like a museum. That's the impression I get because everything is kind of shelved away and you've got so many artifacts. Wow. Looks like a real elephant, like a dead elephant that's been mm. immortalized. Accident. Out, that is not the smallest Buddha in Sri Lanka. The smallest Buddha is so small that we couldn't even find it and you need a magnifying glass to see it. This museum is so fascinating but so random. All of a sudden in between the pots and candlesticks there's a crocodile. <laughs> With a net over its head, just in case it bites. finished our tour. It was quite good, it was three hours long. It was good in that we were able to see quite a lot of things in a short amount of time. So anyway, we're gonna rest up now and then head out later. Visiting hours end at 5.30, so they're from 9.30 to 5.30, and now it's 5.05, this is perfect timing. Oh, thank you. Down to the mosque, you need to cover up your shoulders and knees, uh, but the good thing is that they provide these robes with a cap. Is this good? <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's fine. Very well. Yep. It looks like it was painted yesterday. <laughs> Yeah. Especially here. Wow. And here, each and every brick is painted by hand. And all around the mosque, we based on four architectural designs spiral, jaggered, stripe, and a check design. It's beautiful. I'm very 
Thanks a lot. Can I get a dinner bus? Thank you. So we just got out of the mosque and it's really beautiful. If you're going to see it, definitely ask for Muhammad. He's one of the guys, the administrators there, that could give you a guide. And he explains quite a lot. Later that evening, we headed out to look for some dinner. It's really funny because we have ended up now at the Ministry of Crab, the well-known restaurant here in Colombo for its crab, but also very pricey. And we weren't looking to spend that much for one meal. The restaurant we wanted to go to is unfortunately closed. And everyone, like everyone we ask for recommendations, says Ministry of Crab. So I guess we're going to the Ministry of Crab. <laughs> Wait, there's other things. Turns out that this is actually a food court, so we're going to have a look around uh, at our options. I spoke too soon. We've got quite a lot, actually. Apparently the portions are very big everywhere. Mm, looks good. So I ordered a crab cobbler. So as you can see, the crab. And there are small roundish pieces of bread in it along with tomatoes, cheese and a few other ingredients. Thank you. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. I ordered a vegetarian spicy ravioli with eggplant inside. It's really yummy. And this crab cobbler is really delicious. I might be a little jealous, but it's okay because what's yours is mine <laughs> and what's mine is yours. So that's the end of this vlog, guys. We've had an amazing day in Colombo. And we have many more adventures coming up here in Sri Lanka. So if you don't want to miss that, then consider subscribing to our channel and hit the notification bell button so that you're notified when we post a new video. All right, we'll see you next time. <laughs>